Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In this tutorial we will create a simple Laravel application that will allow you to log in using your Telegram account. Let's get started. First let me create my new Laravel app. Let me clear the screen. Let me now require Laravel Breeze that I will use to scaffold my authentication. And let me just install it. Now let me install Socialite, which is a plugin that allows you to authenticate using various websites and services. And let me start my artisan server. Now let me open it in the browser. Okay. As you see, my login page was created by Breeze. So what I want to do next is I want to add the Telegram button to my login page. So to do that, I need to open login.blade.php and I will add a new link there. So let me just copy this bit of code and I probably want to create a new template for this. And instead of button, I will use link. And now let me create the component, I mean the template. So let me just create a new file here. I'll call it primary link. And let me just copy paste the code from the button component. And because it's a link, I don't need type. Let me just delete it. Um, finally here, let me just add my href attribute. And here I will type the URL for my authorization. Next, let me create my route. And for now, I will stub it out with a simple text return. Okay, let me now refresh and click my button and there we are. Okay, now let me create my Telegram bot. I go to Botfather and type new bot and then I type the name of my bot. And my bot also requires a username and it should end with bot. Okay, the bot is ready. Now let me install the Socialite provider for Telegram. And let me just copy this bit of config here from the providers page. And let me paste it in my config slash services.php. Here. Yeah. Okay, and now I can use the values from this config file in my .env file. So here I will specify the name of my bot. Also my token. and my callback URI. Now I will create the route for my callback. Callback here. 
and uh, let me just stub it out as well. And here in the redirect route, I want to implement the actual redirect. So I'll take the, the socialite facade, I'll get my driver, and I will call the redirect function. Let's go to the browser, hit refresh, and uh, driver telegram not supported. This is because I forgot to add uh, a bit of code to my event service provider. So I'll go to the plugin web page to get the code. There's the code. Let me paste it here. And let me try it again. Refresh. Okay. Now we see another error. It says bot domain invalid. Which means that we need to specify a domain for our Telegram bot. But before I do it in Telegram, I need to create a proper domain here. I'm using Apache as reverse proxy, so I need to open the VH host configuration and create a new entry here with my new domain that will proxy to my Docker container. So my new domain is my telegram socialitebot.com and now I need to restart my HTTPD. And I also need to specify my new domain in my hosts file. Okay, now let's go test it in the browser. Okay, the new domain works. Now I can add it to my Telegram bot. I'll type set domain. I'll type in the name of my bot and the name of my domain. Okay, that should do it. Let me refresh. Okay, it works. I forgot to mention that I also changed my Telegram redirect URI here in my .env config. Now it takes the absolute path here, including the name of the domain. Okay. Now let's go and create the callback. Let me just copy it here. And I'll type telegram user. And then I'll call the user method. And I want to dump and die my telegram user. Okay, let's test it. Okay, now you see the dump here. So now I want to save my user in the database, uh, but before I do it, I need to set up my database connection. So here's my password and my database host. And uh, there it is. And now I want to tweak my migration a bit because I will need a new column here for my Telegram user. Uh, the column will be named Telegram ID. And perhaps my password should be nullable. So let me make it nullable. And my actually my Telegram ID will be nullable as well, because not all of my users will be using Telegram. So let me run the migrations now. Okay. So finally let me save my user to the database here. I probably want to create my user or update it if it exists. I will use my Telegram ID and I want to set a few values here from this dump. So I will set the name and because I don't have an email I will either use an email if the user has it and if they don't have it then I will just create this 
email using the Telegram ID. Okay, and now let me log my user in. Okay, and redirect to, to, to the dashboard. Okay, now refresh. Oops, I I think I got confused with my with the names of my methods here. I think it should be update or create. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, there we are. Uh, now let me log out and log in again. And when I log in now, there's an error, and this is probably because I forgot to make my Telegram ID fillable. So, yeah, I think I need to go to my model and type my Telegram ID in here. And I also think I want to delete my, my record, my user record in the database here, because otherwise it won't let me create a new record because of the same email address. Okay, let me refresh. Works. Let me log out now. And let me log in again. Yeah, I think that does it. Let me log out and log in one last time. Just to make sure that it works. Okay, it does work. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please like it and subscribe and see you next time.